Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to download and install the VLC Media Player onto your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up a web browser. It doesn't matter which one, but I'm going to open up Google Chrome, and if you watch a lot of my videos, you'll see I do that very frequently. And we're going to navigate over to Google.com. And now into Google, you want to type in VLC Media Player, and you want to hit Enter. So the official site that it's being hosted on at the time of this recording is videoland.org. I'm going to select this link here to go right to the website. And now on the right side of VLC Media Player, it says it's a free and open source cross-platform multimedia player and framework that plays most multimedia files as well as DVDs, audios, VCDs, and various streaming protocols. Just left click on the download VLC button right here. And if it doesn't begin downloading very quickly, just click on this hyperlink right here. But otherwise, it should be a pretty fast download. It's about 37 megabytes, so it will take a few seconds to download. So just want to be patient. Once it's done downloading, I'm just going to left click on the executable once. Make sure to verify publisher in here, and then left click on yes. So install our language, select the language, make sure it's English or whatever language you prefer, and then left click on OK. Select next once you've looked through this, and once you've agreed to the end user license agreement, left click on next again. And I would recommend keeping most of the stuff default in here for like codecs and other important items. So we're just going to select next again. Left click on install. This will take another moment, so please be patient. Okay, so at this point, you can just uncheck the box to run the VLC Media Player if you don't want to. Otherwise, you can keep it checked. Left click on finish here to finish up the installation. And then we have some privacy stuff here, network access. I would recommend left click on continue here. And you should be good to go, guys. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.